Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky. So, I just logged on for the first time in a couple days, and the reason for that is I kind of wanted to check out the world event. Wow, I'm pressing the WSAD keys to move. I'm so used to that. I haven't been used to this whole click to move thing. But anyway, um, I wanted to check out the new world event and see what that is all about. See if it's just kind of like the old one, or if they have a few new features. And I also wanted to see like how good the XP is from you know doing the various stuff that you have to do. I, I don't know if you're going to have to like gather those tiers again like you did in the old world event. This is you know completely me having no idea about it. I just saw that there's a world event on the home page, and I logged in to see what it is. So, let's go and check it out, shall we? Okay, so the world map is kind of awesome now, um, because it loaded really fast when I opened it up. Uh, so I'm not sure why there's a star there in Berthorpe, but I can either jo join Bandos, who's up in the Goblet Village, or Armadil, who is south of Falador. And I believe Armadil is actually winning by a lot right now. Like, it's even more one-sided than when, um, you know, Zamorak and Ceridoman, and Ceridoman won easily. And I can kind of understand that, because I think Armadil is way cooler than Bandos. But at the same time, it's a bit uneven. So we're going to join Armadil, just because I personally think Armadil is a complete stud and a baller. And I don't really know too much about Bandos. I've always just really loved the look of Armadil armor, and I think it looks awesome. And Bandos armor is kind of overrated. So even though that's a really trivial way to decide which god you want to join, uh, still, I'm going to go with Armadil, just because, you know, Armadil's awesome. So... Where is the join Armadil? Talk to the recruiter. Well, where is the recruiter? Oh, they conveniently re supplied an arrow <laughs> for the mentally challenged that couldn't figure out where the recruiter is. Okay, okay, yes, I want to be a guardian. I want to join you. You don't have to talk anymore. We're done. I've already joined. So Armadil is completely owning at the moment. So, what, do we defend caravans? That's pretty lame. Use this map to track I don't see a map it wasn't is this a map ooh there's a map okay so what do I do oh my goodness I have no idea what any of this means um can I just gather from tears and gain XP that's all I want to do why aren't they letting me do this I also want a smithing crate off the squeal of fortune which has a whole ton of mithril ore and coal in it but I have better things to do than withdraw a ton of ore because it's not noted from this so let's read the PvP board okay you can battle members of the opposite factions rewards increased XP XP from what? do you just get bonus XP I guess? PvP in the event is safe so you won't lose your items when you die you can PV toggle PvP often on and off as much as you'd like okay so if it's safe that's not bad I'll turn it on, I guess. I have PvP enabled. So I guess we'll, let's go find someone to kill if we can do that. Alright, so so far I've ran all through Falador and not found anyone who has an attack option on them. I'm guessing they get an attack option on when they turn PvP on, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So I guess I'm just going to run into the Bandos camp and probably die very fast. But anyway, I just want to fight someone. I, I really hope that this is actually going to be uh... you don't lose your items when you die because that would be pretty funny if i died and lost sea singers so why do you, why do you none of you have pvp on? <laughs> i just want to fight someone i have nothing to do so i guess this is kind of safe oh i'm a bird lover okay we gotta toss around names like that fair enough anyway i seriously doubt i'm gonna find anyone to fight so i'm gonna find i guess something to do in this in this uh... whole world event because so far this is pretty lame all right so apparently there's like a convoy here that we can raid or something like that and we can also uh... work on divine siphoning armadil i'm not sure but i do have pvp on so, uh, if a Bandos guy comes over and attacks me, I'm screwed. But anyway, I'm getting nice little very quick XP drops by working on this Divine Siphon. And I'm guessing I'm getting construction. Yeah, I'm getting construction XP for this. So, um, if you need construction, hey, uh, this is a good thing to do very, very quickly. 
Also, I forgot some runes or any food, so hopefully I won't be attacked. But anyway, I did a little bit of PvP. Uh, I couldn't record because someone else was in the room, and that's just a little bit weird. But basically, I went to the Bandos encampment, and there's like 40 Bandos people there and two Armadil people, and I pretty much just got piled by 10 people and died very fast. But no, you don't lose your items or anything, so that's good. I didn't lose my Sea Singers. That would have been pretty funny if I did, though. Anyway, um, so how these work is... I'll show you guys in just a bit, but you go to the the war map or whatever it's called at the main Armadil base, and then you can just teleport straight to these convoys and work on them. So I'll be right back and I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, so I guess I found out these things. Um, I'm not sure if there is an end to them, but you can pretty much just keep going and going and going and going. So if you need construction XP, this is a great way to do it. You can... there's... The, there's a health bar above the divining siphon, but the health bar has been green for a long time, and I've still been getting divination or not divination construction XP. So anyway, if you really need construction XP, I would say that's a pretty good way. And I'm about to die here, which is fine because you know I have no runes, so I can't fight back, and I don't really care if I die anyway. Because I was just about to teleport back to the armadillo encampment, and if I die, it'll just get me back to the armadillo encampment a bit faster. So hey, win-win situation. Um, but what you can do to go to these places is you go check on the war, the war map, and then um, if any of these uh, areas have like a convoy present, you just teleport to it. Uh, these little areas will be highlighted in yellow, and you just click on them to teleport them, and it'll teleport you straight there. But anyway, uh, that's a really good way to gain um, XP and construction, and also you can... Um, do divination and while training your divination just regular old train the divination skill at any of the divination spots um, and you can occasionally get a crystal for those and you can turn them in for 750 renown and I got almost 5,000 renown and that took about five minutes so I think it's about about I would say a thousand maybe two thousand renown a minute um, just by doing that mini game there but anyway I'm gonna try to see if we can yeah claim some, re some rewards see how good the XP lamps are I want to see if it's worth turning these in for XP, so experience. So the small XP lamp is 4,000 right now, and that took about, I would say, roughly three minutes of doing a convoy. So we rub that small lamp, and we'll gain XP, and hey, farming. Everything is 99. My, why not farming? So 8K farming XP. So if you actually did those convoys, you could gain some really, really good uh, divination XP per hour or if you want to train say agility or another really hard skill like that because those small XP lamps do not take long to get at all and you also get epic construction experience from doing those so if you want to try that out you know that's a really good way to train agility or something like that but anyway thanks for watching guys and farewell